What's up everybody? Okay, so today's video is going to be a quick, um, small, but rather, I guess, expensive Sam's Club haul. I don't recall actually doing a Sam's Club haul, so this might be the first. Um, if you guys have remembered me doing a Sam's Club haul before, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, you guys, so I just got back from Sam's Club. It is now 12.53 p.m. Um, I literally caught the bus out there, and I got there like like right after they opened or whatever. That was like intentional, so I can kind of get to, you know, the deals and everything. I don't know, I just never really see myself. I never really get to shop early in the morning or whatever, so I try to do something you know different for a change so let's get started um over here i got this uh i guess like a power bank uh let's see here yeah it's a power bank um now i had to walk around the store go back walk away come back walk away you know you're really indecisive about certain things so you figure if you walk back and you you know something tells you to keep going back and you just you know you want something you know what i'm saying so that's what happened with this one so there was like three or four from over there and honestly, this one was the one that pretty much um, caught my eye. I think it had the most uh, the most power or whatever. Uh, it has 30 watts of power delivery and 20,000, 20K uh, milliamps, megaamps, whatever. It was basically the highest number. And it looked like, I like this, the, uh, the, like the slim build of it or whatever. It even says, uh, hold me. I'm like, okay, sure, even though I can't feel it through the plastic. But, yeah, so this is the one that caught my eye. Um, this was, I'm going to try to go off the prices for you guys real fast. This was uh, $49.98. This is, I think, the most expensive one they had. So I figured if I'm, you know, getting one of these, I might as well get the most, the better quality one, if that makes sense. So sometimes you get what you pay for, sometimes you don't. But, hey, if you never, if you don't buy the most expensive thing you can afford, not saying you do that, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Take a chance. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Anyway, so I got that. That was $49.98. Um, over here, I'm just going to get this out the way before I get too clustered over here. I got this new uh, Vizio soundbar. Now, I wanted to get the smaller one that they had because the last time I was out there, they had a smaller basic version. It was just one soundbar. I didn't want really a whole sound system or a speaker system with like subwoofers. I didn't want 10,000 speakers, in other words, because the one that I'm replacing, I just really wanted the name brand. I, I wanted this brand, and I also wanted, like I said, a simple one like I have in the bedroom. It's a, just a regular sound bar. This is like a 5.1 sound bar. It's like a theater system. It has like 20,000 speakers, which at the first I was like, eh. They didn't really have the one I wanted, and the one that looked similar to that was like, $179 and I was like okay it's basic as fuck like I might as well just spend extra money and get you know the best they got so I got this this is a Vizio um, 5.1 uh, I don't even know what the description is it just says M series 5.1 soundbar so basically from what I understand it has really good uh, specifications I'm not sure why it's not telling me okay it has a soundbar subwoofer and i guess like two surround sound speakers one two three four i thought there was five speakers in here maybe i'm not i don't know whatever but anyway this was 299 dollars um that was about the same price as my uh my current sound i mean my current my current uh what am i trying to say samsung and to be honest i like the vizio one better again i have it in my bedroom not this exact one but it's a smaller model and the sound just sounds a lot better. So I figured if I got this big one and it's Vizio, hopefully I get the same quality, if not 10 times better than the one in my bedroom. I'm already giving away the uh, one in my, my current one in my living room, this uh, Samsung one. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, this is $2.99. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought today. Um, it was a really big impulse buy or whatever. So I got that. Let's see here. These was a kind of an impulse buy because I really don't need plates right now. Um, these are the Dixie Ultra plates that I love to buy. And seeing these at Sam's Club was a really um, exciting moment. I love these plates, but you can only get up to like 90 of them in a pack. And they're like $10 for like 90 plates. And I'm just like, okay. So these, when I seen these, I was like, oh my gosh. These are 186 plates. And these were actually... Um, da, 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 where are they at? Um, really? This half ring on my plates. Foil, Glade, McChicken. What the hell? Lysol, 
Like, okay, whatever. But anyway, y'all, so yeah, I got these. Um, I'll tell you guys the price at the end of the video if I can remember. Um, so I got those. Um, over here, I got some Reno Drap Heavy Duty Foil. This is a two pack. Um, I guess each one is 150 um, square feet. I would never run out of foil ever again. <laughs> like, seriously. Um, I don't use foil that often, but again, it's one of those things. I've seen it, and I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to have enough if I buy it from here. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to spending more at, like, a grocery store and then or Walmart. You know what I'm saying? And then having to keep coming back. This will last me a lot longer. So it's saving money. Uh, let's see here. The foil, I just seen it, was eighteen sixty eight for these two rows. It was eighteen sixty eight. Um, I got me a rotisserie chicken. This was four ninety eight, of course. I love their rotisserie chickens. I got my eggnog. Now, I know I'm diabetic. I'm not supposed to be having type of stuff like this, but I'm only going to drink this, like, once for the whole, like, winter, and I'm going to be done with it. This is the Southern Comfort uh, traditional eggnog. Um, as y'all can see... Um, yeah, very high in saturated fat. Um, sugar is not that bad. I've had worse stuff that had a lot more sugar. So, this is my little sweet, you know, indulgence for the season. I haven't gotten any um, apple cider yet, and I probably won't. I don't know. I'm just not really in the apple cider mood this year for some reason. Price of the, the prices are freaking high as hell. It's like $5 for a half a gallon. I'm like, um, yeah, no. Anyway, back to the video, guys. So I'm getting sidetracked. Over here, I got these Marie Callender's Chicken Pot Pies. I recently had one of these at my job, and I forgot how good they were, like, specifically how good they were. And this is the 8-pack. Um, so I got 8 pies. These, I think these are the 10-ounce ones, which I want to say is the large size. I could be wrong. I know when I bought the individual ones, I think the individual large ones the larger size ones were like 10 ounces i could be wrong though but anyway i got eight of them so i figure if i eat one a day if i wanted one for dinner that's a freaking a, you know what i'm saying a week worth of dinners and one of those will fill me up you know what i'm saying or at least it would get the it's, it's enough flavor you know to make me feel satisfied you know some food you eat it it doesn't have really much flavor it's just more like blah like you know you're eating you know you're eating food but it's not filling if that makes sense um, the pies were, they were $14.98, which is a pretty good price, um, for eight pies, because these cost like three, four dollars per one in the stores, so, that's a really good price. I said I was going to pause the video and then move this out the way, but I'm going to try to work around this thing, because I don't have to pause the video, risk losing the video, because I sometimes hit the stop button by accident, so we're going to go ahead and work around this stuff right now for you guys. So over here, I got these uh, pork skins. These are the Max brand of barbecue pork skins. Uh, this big bag was uh, 562. This is a really big bag. I can't really see it. So I got that. Um, over here, I got some more Lysol. I got like one or two cans underneath the cabinet, but like I said, for the price, you know how expensive Lysol is. It's like $8 at my job. And this was only, uh, uh, let me see, for the three cans all together, it was fourteen twenty-eight. But like I said, you got three cans. Like I said, one can is like $8, $9, especially with COVID and the fungalitis going around. It's like, Ugh. And I love this stuff too because it's like, this is like, I use it as an air freshener, like, or if I know, you know what I'm saying, like, people come in sick or whatever, just barking. First of all, if you're sick, don't come to my house. I'm just saying that. But I'm just saying in general, like, if, you know what I'm saying, if you feel like you're in a, you've been sick or coughing or whatever, you spray this stuff, open your doors, turn your fans on, it's like it kind of freshens. It, it makes you feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah, just, it literally does. To me, it feels like, I feel like it does what it says. It disinfects the air or whatever. This stuff is like the truth. Um, let's see. And I've tried off brands before and yeah, just doesn't do it for me. Um, and then also I got this, uh, let's see what this is called. Multi-port charge station. So basically it's like a little charging hub, but you can plug, um, what the hell was that? Oh, sorry. I got distracted by that. Anyway, uh, you can plug up, let me see. You can plug up, it looks like lightning, uh, uh, iPhone plugs. It has four lightning plugs. I'm assuming that's what that is. 
Uh, it has an AC outlet so you can plug in like a computer or whatever and it'll you know go off of that um, and also has a USB type C plug so and there's two of them in here so I figure if I keep one at here oh shit I keep one here and take it to work you know what I'm saying I don't want to worry I don't want to worry about chargers at work because I don't take my charger to work anyway but I thought about it like a lot of people at my job are always asking me you got a charger you got a charger and I'm just like no I don't bring my charger to work I don't need it my phone lasts for three days so I figured okay I'll take this to work and people can charge their phones or whatever and if I ever need a, you know what I'm saying, phone, I mean, if I ever need to charge my phone at work, I ain't got to worry about it because I'll have one here and at work. You know what I'm saying? So I got this. Um, it's just good to have stuff like this around the house. Um, I also got some of this Old Spice deodorant. This is the antiperspirant swagger uh, variety. Now, these are expensive. I was going to buy the other ones, but I don't like the just deodorant, the blue stuff. This is actually the antiperspirant and deodorant. This is the white kind. And this was actually a good deal. So for four of these, I only spent, let me see here. Where is it at? This is why I don't like looking at prices because the video takes forever. Uh, $14.98 for four of these. And I figured that's a really good deal because one of these is like $5.99 in stores. Depending on where you go. So it's a pretty good deal. I always try to buy this stuff in like bulk or whatever, like Ollie's or Sam's Club, because it's just cheaper that way. Instead of spending six dollars for a stick of deodorant, and it's going to end up, you know, what I'm saying gone. It's going to be gone eventually, so you might as well just stock up and save yourself some money. Um, over here, I got some of these Glade automatic freshener. I call them automatic uh, spray refills or whatever you call them. Um, this is the Cashmere Woods scent. Excuse me. <clears throat> And there's four refills in here. Now, originally, I wanted just the refills. But when you came in the store, they had these. These are like the kits or whatever. They have the, the sprayers and the refills. And I bought them because this scent right here, I love. But like I said, I went to the back of the store and seen these. So I just, I was going to put these back. But there was no room on the shelf back there where these were actually at. To put those back. And I didn't feel like walking to the front of the store just to put them back. So I just kept it in my cart. I originally had two of these and I kept both of them. So I figured I'll have these for a while. I already have the um the sprayers in here, but I think I'll just keep the sprayers. Um if push come and shove I'll just throw away the old ones because they get dirty or you know what I'm saying. They just they don't really last that long. So I got two of these. Um the just the refills by themselves were uh let me see. Da, 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 da. Oh, where is it at? Oh, and then the uh, I'll tell you the price for the uh, the uh, charger thing too. Um, I want to say it was when well, no, that wasn't it, was that it? 49 20 mega amp. I don't know, I'm getting out of, I'm getting ahead of myself anyway. The uh, the uh, Glade was 1557 for the four pack, and each one of these uh, kits were 1398. So you got thirteen ninety eight. You got a sprayer and three things, or you can get an extra spray for fifteen uh, fifty seven. And then, like I said, oh, the um, power plug bank thingy was. Uh, did I already say it was forty nine ninety eight? If I didn't, it was forty nine ninety eight. For, no, I'm sorry. It was yeah forty nine ninety eight. So that one was forty nine ninety eight. I also have another one somewhere over here sorry you guys that the camera is all wobbly um there's another one somewhere did i buy a work i guess when i bought one oh it's over here i'm sorry you guys <laughs> yeah this is the one i showed you guys this one was 49.98 and then also this thing right here is so they both were 49.98 either one you no matter which one you got so um let's see i think that was everything like i said this is going to be a small haul but expensive obviously because of this bad boy um so the total for everything was let me see 562 even actually so 562 dollars even i did not plan on spending that much money at a store after that seven seven hundred dollars fiasco that i spent that seven hundred dollars that i spent at ollie's the last uh video i made yeah no i wasn't trying to go that high again but it's sam's club and I didn't have a list or a specific idea of what I wanted in mind. So, of course, you know, you're going to impulse buy and run the bill up. 
But yeah, so this has been my uh, Sam's Club haul. Again, let me know if this is the first one that I did. I can't remember. If not, you know, send leave me. Let me know in the comment section if this is my first one or not. <clears throat> and hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, if you have any of these items in the haul video, or if you like a certain vid, you know, a certain item, let me know what you think about it, or you know, just like these things, you know, what you thought about them. Um, just anything. Let me know in the comment section. Anything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in my next one. Peace out.